Hi, I'm Robert Proctor with Multisoft Corporation. I'm here today with John Ward with the Sheffield Group. John, I want to thank you for taking a few minutes of your time today okay. to, to talk to me. So uh, I know the thing that you do best with the Sheffield Group and do for, for clients, mm -hmm. our mutual clients and all your clients, is you build brands. Correct. You build the marketing behind that brand. Can you tell us why building a brand for a network marketing company is so vital these days? Well, branding is vital for every company, of course, because okay. the brand is what initially attracts people towards you and then what holds them with you once you've got them. The brand is the essence of who you are, what you're about, and why you exist as people experience it and perceive it. And a brand has to be delivered in seconds because attention spans are very short. So whoever you are, whatever you have, needs to be compacted and presented to the world in a way that grabs people very, very quickly and very compellingly. And that's what I'm in the business of helping doing. Now, in direct selling, we have a special challenge because effectively we have two audiences. They may overlap, but they are distinct in terms of what they want and why they are interested in you. You have your customers and you have your distributors. So branding has to address both of those in a way that's coherent and makes a single brand. And the world has changed because branding used to be McDonald's and Burger yes. King and Nike, yeah. and you and I kind of grew up in that age yes. where branding was a billboard that you're gonna see yeah. for 20, 30 seconds as you're driving down the road. Right. Or it was McDonald's all over the yeah. corners. And we had that time to look at them and see them. <laughs> Today's changed because it's internet-based. We've got less time to grab brand attention than we ever had in before. That's true, but there's also an advantage in that change. Because of the internet, branding has become much more relationship-based. So it's really about connection of person to person, more than just plastering an image and broadcasting that to the world. It's more about conversation than broadcast. And that's an advantage, especially in our industry, which is any way a conversational kind of marketing. Right. So we build on that conversation to develop the brand. That becomes the core of the process. So you mentioned something with, especially in our industry, that we're different than other industries, is you almost have to build two brands. You've got to build brands for distributors and brands for customers, because they're two completely diametrically opposed groups in our industry. How do you accomplish building branding for two different groups within the same brand or the same company? The answer to that is these days, and I would stake my, uh, I don't know, my reputation on this because it's a rather controversial area. I believe that the brand in every case should be centered on the product, on the consumer. You build a phenomenal consumer brand and then that attracts people into the business. They want to be part of bringing that brand to the world. So if you have a superb consumer brand, your story to the distributors is, look what we've got for our consumers. You want to be part of sharing this. And, and that's where we've tried to pivot the software in the last five or 10 years is on customers and not distributors. You know, there was a time that it was all about the distributor, the distributor, the distributor, the opportunity right. to make money. Right. And that's where we're now taking what you do and building it into the software so that it's not just about the opportunity, it becomes this product brand that the customer wants to buy and the distributor wants to buy. So I have a question for you about that, okay. because I'm very interested in other areas of my working life, okay. in user experience. Because actually that's part of the brand. Every way we touch the consumer or the distributor, we're creating an experience of some kind. It may be a video, it may be a meeting, it may be a leaflet, it may be an email, it may be social media. But in your case, it's the experience of using software. And all of us know that that can be a horrible experience. It can be a mediocre experience or it can be a sweet and honey experience. What do you do to generate a really superb user experience? Wow, that's a big question. So we have to take the brand and the vision that you've designed and figure out how to deploy it in an environment that we've got eyeballs for three to four seconds. Where it's not just on a phone, it's on a desktop, it's on a phone. It's not just on an iPhone, it's on an Android. It's just not on a phone or a desktop, it's on a tablet. So we have to take the branding that you create and figure out how to wrap that into a user environment that we have three to four seconds for them to see what is the message 
It's a matter of how fast does a web page load? How quickly can I get to the shopping cart? Am I having to navigate through three and four and five different hoops? Or is it one click? And today, you know, we're the 20 year olds and my kids, you know, they grew up on this technology. And we live in a microwave society where they want everything instantaneously. So it's a matter of taking what we used to build years ago that you'd go through three and four steps to get to the shopping cart and three or four steps to go through enrollment. And how do we do it in one step? And how do we deliver it on multiple platforms? And that's why it's so imperative, like with what our team does, we have quality assurance. So not only do we take what you build as a brand, try to shorten the experience and build the best experience, we then have quality assurance teams that go through it as the customer experience, as the distributor experience, to make sure that when we turn this on for the world, you never get a second chance at a first impression. So when we turn this on for the world, it's ready for the world. So it's, it's trying to shorten that experience and provide them the best experience with the least. Today, the words less, are, less is more is probably more important than anything when it comes to the internet and what we put online. Which is also true of branding and communication of branding. We have to be so fast and so brief I teach my clients to think in terms of four second increments. Because basically, you, in those four seconds, you have to be able to communicate the most important features of your brand. Yeah. So what you're saying is you have very little time in order to capture and hold your customer through that, through that process that exactly. you're delivering. Yeah. yeah. John, I appreciate the time. Very good. Great information. I hope our audience enjoys it, and thank you.